hi guys it's Kirsty and welcome back to my channel so guys let's address the elephant in the room I'm wearing the same makeup and clothing as the last video that I did my um, auntie haul for Christmas the reason being is because I spoke to my partner and he has agreed to let me have my Christmas present one of my Christmas presents and do a review for you guys um, the review that I'm going to be doing today is the Makeup Revolution Lux Lip Kit Vault. This is what it looks like. It has um, 10 lip kits inside of it, which are price equivalent to um, £60 worth of product. And I got this whole box for 30 because it's on offer from £50 in a minute. So it looks like this. It's in this gorgeous rose gold packaging that just says Retro Lux Vault um, there. It's just a sleeve and then you open that and then this is the box. It um, obviously has the giant lips like the packaging of all the lip kits, Makeup Revolution here and then Retro Lux Vault here. On the back, bit here it has all the ingredients for you to read and says that it is designed and developed in the UK so yes in this lip kit there are matte kits lip gloss kits that are brand new and a metal and some metallic kits that have recently been released as well as the lip gloss kits so let's get on with the review right so it's a magnetic box and it opens up just like this it has the lips inside and the lips inside have um i always think the lip cartoons are not that similar to the shade that you receive and you'll see what i mean um in a minute uh the colors that are in this kit are a chelion Grande, Noble, Duchess, Highness, and I believe those are the mattes. Yes, they are. Those are those five are the matte lip kits. And then you have Honor, Empress, Regent, In Waiting, and Original, which is in the second drawer of this lip kit. Empress, Regent and In Waiting are the metallic lip kits and Original and Honor are the lip gloss lip kits. Each lip kit has a uh, matching lip liner and a obviously liquid lip gloss or lipstick. And then obviously it says be as bold as your lip colour inside the box. So it's really classy really cute really nice so if you chose not to keep them all in the individual boxes you could maybe put the rest of your lip collection in here right so i'm just going to get down to the swatching now for you guys you take the first drawer out so it comes in two separate drawers we have i'm going to do the mats first so we're going to go in order, so I'm just going to take them all out of the drawer, just like that. Right. I don't own any of the lip kits yet. I was hoping there was going to be something like this, but there are a couple that are not in this lip kit vault that I would like. So hopefully, I'll be able to pick them up at some other point. Right. I'm going to start with. A cherry on. I'm trying everything is like really hygienic packaged they've got plastic around the um around the lip liners right oh that's a very fascinating noise right so I'm gonna show you the lip liner So that is a Chelion. It's very much a nudie brown colour um, on my skin tone. It might be more nude than brown on other people's skin tones. 
because I'm one of the palest people alive. <laughs> so yeah, that's the chelly on. That's the lip liner and I'm just going to swatch the liquid lips next to it. They don't smell of anything, so that's the liquid um, the liquid um, lip next to it. So I am going to swatch the lipstick over the top of the lip liner now because that is how it is intended to be worn. So there you go, you can see the difference in the colours there. This one's definitely more opaque. So I do agree with everybody else that you should wear the liner. Underneath the liners feel very creamy on the skin. So that is the chili on. I'm gonna go in next with Grande. This is one of the lipstick lip kits I'm not really looking forward to because it's not really me on the box it looks really nude and I know I've seen a lot of people say that they were hoping it was nude and they've bought it because the cartoon on the front makes it look like Grande is quite a um, pinky nude shade but when they've bought it they've had other ideas come about so we shall see Right, so I'm going to put Grandy underneath here, lip liner, right, that is definitely not nude in any which way, right, so that's the lip liner there, it's very pink as you can see, it's very, I would say Barbie pink, let's see what the... It is very pink. Um, I don't. I don't wear pink lipsticks like at all. So I may use this as a giveaway after I've sterilised it, of course. And that is the uh, lipstick. And again, I'm going to go over the top of the lip liner, and that's the full effect here. Well, I do think this one isn't as opaque as the previous shade, so you could wear the look gloss if you wanted to on its own. So far, so good. They both look lovely. And I'm sure there are girls out there that absolutely love a pink lip. It's just not really particularly me. But... I'm not going to judge something of it not being my own cup of tea. I'm really struggling to get these kits back in the box. Right, there we go. Grande. So, on to the next one. That is Noble. This looks on the box like a very nice brown shade. So, we'll see. And the lip liner swatch is giving me brown vibes as well. So we'll see what we get in a second. Right, so I'm going to do a swatch here across from the pink. So we're going to do lip liner. Oh, that is a very nice colour. Lip line. Liquid lipstick. And then lip liner and liquid lipstick. This is my, I think my favorite color so far. It's very um, different brown, really.
I'm looking forward to getting to wear these at Christmas. Right, the next shade is Duchess. This on the box looks like a very nudie, pinky shade. Oh no, hold on. No, it doesn't. It looks like a, like, maroony, pinky brown colour. So, we shall see what we get. Oh, this is really nice. Right, so this is Duchess. I think this shade might be exclusive. Is, is this the one? One of these shades is exclusive to this vault. But I'm not sure which one it is. I don't know if it's Duchess or if it's Highness. There was one I couldn't find a swatch for online. Right, and that is... Oh, this is very autumnal. This shade, it's like a burnt orange kind of shade. It's really, really pretty. Super pretty. Sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. I think it's my dog. She gets very suspicious. And then the last of the um, matte lip kits is Highness. This looks like a very neutral brown shade. There are a lot of nudes in this kit, which kind of resembles kind of the first lot of Kylie kits. And I believe like these were the first shades that Makeup Revolution released when they come out with their kits. And these cost £6 each um, on the Tam Beauty website or the Superdrug website. Um, Superdrug are doing a free for two offer and I believe these lip kits are in the offer so go and save yourselves £12 and get six lip kits and get two free <laughs> because yes why not um, I'm going to just whack Highness down here Right, this is a very like pumpkin-y spiced brown. Very nice. I wasn't really sure what to expect. But they do look good quality. And that is the liner and lip gloss together on Highness. And that is just the lip gloss. Right, now on to the fun swatches of the fun colours. Well, the more out there colours. So I'll return that sleeve to the box and pull out the second sleeve so here's the second sleeve and the five lip kits I will do the glosses first because this array assortment is giving me OCD flare ups with the metallics being in the middle and the um, The glosses being on each end. So yes, I'm going to start uh, with original straight off the bat. This is a very pale nude shade according to the box. Sorry if my opening of these um, lip liners is getting on people's nerves. It is really difficult to pull off the dotted line stuff. If everyone knows when you scrape it, it doesn't scrape where you want it to scrape. It, um, and it's like all sticking to my hand now. It's really irritating me. Oh, God. <sighs> Frustrating. Right, I'm going to go... Um, I think I'm going to go along here with these ones. 
we're going to put original here. Oh, these feel a different texture, I think. That felt a lot smoother going on. Doesn't smell of anything. Right, and then this is the gloss. Oh. Do you know what? A lot of people in the comments for when these were being these glosses were being released thought it was a bit odd that they were not sticky. I also thought that, but I've just applied this to quite a hairy part of my arm, and I can tell you now, these are not sticky. Like, look at my finger. They're not sticky at all. Like, they're really good. I quite like them. <laughs> the texture's really nice, which is good because I normally really hate gloss. Gloss is not my favourite. So, um, but after hearing good things about these, I wanted to buy them to try them. So, oh, I've got gloss on the box, it's not good. Right, and the second gloss is Honor. This looks like a very dark brownish colour. Again, it is very brown. It's quite similar to, I think it's Noble, the second shade I swatched, but not quite the same. It's of the same sort of say, shade range, but it isn't the same shade. Right, so, and that's Honor in the gloss and then on top of the these are super super pigmented you wouldn't even need the gloss to be honest or the lip liner for, for most of these anyone so far that I thought you needed the gloss over the lip line for was noble right now on to my favorite of the bunch these three metallic clip kits all right we are going to go with empress first this looks like a gold shade on the top i'm really thinking somebody has put the the um i've put the uh, packaging on that without putting the lid on properly oh it's super shiny Right, that is, they do have a different smell, it's quite chemically smelling, but these are beautiful, the colour of them are beautiful. I can't put my, my mind on what it is, but obviously it's the glitter in it that's causing the smell. Ooh, that is what the Empress looks like. I think these are a similar texture to the glosses. That's Empress um, lip gloss and that's the lip liner. And I'm just going to apply it over the top. See what that does. That makes kind of like a cross between a coppery and a gold colour. But very, very nice. I'm impressed so far with the um, vault. I'm really kind of glad that I bought this over um, any of the other. Oh, why is that doing that? Hmm. Okay. 
some reason the um, liner is sticking out the box there a bit. I think it might be a little bit longer than the box. Right, now we are on to Regent. This is the one shade that I was super excited for. I could have bought this separately, but I really thought the, um, the vault was super pretty. And also, I'd literally the other day run out of nude lipstick. So this was a good investment. Region is a red. I love red lipstick. I'm going to stick it up here. Oh my God. This is my kind of red. It's very cherry 1950s housewife red. Ooh, it's beautiful. It's the only way to describe it like the 1950s lipstick era. It's very Marilyn Monroe. Ooh. It looks like straight up rubies. Ooh. It is gorgeous. It's a little bit opaque, but obviously the lip liner isn't. So the lip liner will need to go underneath this. But it is straight up gorgeously opaque. Um, with the lip liner it's stunning oh, oh it's gorgeous definitely my favorite shade and definitely worth the box but you can buy this separately so if there are sh shades in this box that you would rather have instead of buying the whole kit as I said six pounds each and they can all be bought separately and we are on to the final shade, which is called In Waiting. It is a metallic pink shade. When I seen this swatch, it gave me aqua vibes, like I'm a Barbie girl and all that jazz. Right, all of the metallic lip liners have the same, like chemically kind of smell. obviously isn't great but um as long as it doesn't you can't smell it on the eye uh, on the lips then i don't see that being an issue right and this is the lip gloss for in waiting it actually doesn't look as pink in the tube oh it isn't it's more a um more a peach than a pink the lip gloss as you can see, that's the lip gloss there. Oh, I'm terrible at swatching. I'm sorry, guys. Let me just put the gloss over the top of the pink. Hmm, not my favourite, to be honest. Not my favourite. I feel like the um, gloss over the top changes the whole look of the colour like it isn't pink anymore it goes like a corally kind of colour but I, I think I might be more swayed to the fact I don't really like pink so yeah looks more monochrome like orange and pink mixed like fruit salad so once again these are all the swatches your metallics are these three here. You've got in waiting. Let me come nice and close. In waiting, Regent, Empress. Then you have the two glosses, Honor, Original. Then you have, I believe this is, and then you have the mattes. You've got Grande, Echelon. Noble, I think this is Highness, and then you've got um, Duchess, I had to think then, my mind went blank. But overall, i um, definitely glad that I asked for this for Christmas, because it's going to give me major Christmas Christmas vibes and I'm really looking forward to using it. It's 
so we shall see what happens. Oops, we're having issues. Oh no, I've got them back in. That would be how I want to, to display them so they are in order. But anyway, guys, this is your review for the Retro Lux lip kit. Um, still think it's a beautiful kit. Um, I'm slightly disappointed over the amount of variations of brown that they've put in here when there are like purples and like blue shades. But then I guess they wanted people to want to buy it. So for weirdos like me that like exotic colours, they figured, no, don't be stupid. You don't want to wear that on your lips every day. So they've done a more of a wearable everyday lip look, which is fine. So yeah, if anyone is wanting to buy this, it is £30 at the minute on tanbeauty.com and I believe it's £30 on Superdrug but it may be sold out so I don't know you're going to have to be quick guys because the uh, boxes of Makeup Revolution stuff are running out I think one of them is already out of stock stock on Superdrug so yeah you're going to need to get your booties moving overall thumbs up again for this another great Makeup Revolution product uh, thoroughly impressed and can't wait to use this but it's now going away until Christmas day so there you go guys it's a thumbs up from me and if you are new to my subs my channel please like and subscribe stick around I am cursing I'm odd but I do bring nice um, tutorials and other things all things beauty here on my channel and um, also if people are watching this and you would like a um, tutorial for this makeup look that I have on today. I did just have a clean, clear lip gloss, but um, yeah, obviously if you had this, a lot of the brown shades would look super cute with this. Maybe not this one, but more this one. Would look super cute with this, and uh, would definitely bring out more of the blue. So yeah, if you would like a um, tutorial on this look, let me know in the comments. And I hope you all have a great day. Stay calm. Bye.